join me in welcoming Henry Jameson. Watching the lightning and the 
turtlenecks and uh, that it's just sort of it's actually pretty much a coincidence that we're wearing our turtlenecks for the first time uh, tonight when Eric is playing a Steinway <laughs> and we're <laughs> and we're in here in this room that's giving me like college flashbacks uh, but is otherwise great um, and also this is being um, it's being video I guess you don't say taped anymore um, they're making a video, and I historically have gotten sick before every video shoot. And I thought that I was getting sick, but I didn't. <laughs> Which is great. My dad was sick for a week, and I live with my dad. deathly pale and a woman had come to my bedside a regular Florence Nightingale but my girlfriend just wasn't having the comparison so I backpedaled said okay then how about Mary Magdalene anyway I was reminded of a dream I had as my confidence came and went where all the girls from Singing just around the river bend All along the banks of the Arkansas And I paddled through in a dugout canoe I was a John Smith cartoon with a strong jaw Listen, I'm white, middle class and male And the dream does tell a tale of white Streaming of whiteness with the want for wisdom that might tip the scale Cause my friend and I felt an affinity with the tribes in the documentary The plays on a loop in the backmost wing of the Museum of Natural History But my imperialist didn't suddenly die, he just loosened his tie and took a knee Disneyland never made a man, that's all just false idolatry 
saw this for sight Talks to me about that photograph Me and my brother on the sidewalk Holding squirt guns and squinting in the sun That was the summer of night Well, it's a sunny day At Sugar Sugar High School in the quarterback and track star Cutting class and shooting pool well, this is not to say That they should be in class As to why they have to be Such assholes It's as if we men just want to be Picked up sequentially And held to the breast of a giantess Who stands ten miles out at sea or alternatively, we could find success, you know, really be the best, and maybe we could rest upon our father's knee. Florence Nightingale comes in with a lamp, they say. Talks to me about that photograph Me and my brother on the sidewalk Holding squirt guns and squinting in the sun There was the summer I was nine See this garment? This is a raggish Manhattan habiliment, and uh, it's also gotten its debut tonight. But I don't think I can keep wearing it because it's made of wool, and I'm getting way too hot. And the, um, probably some of you know this, but if you're playing music, if you're too cold, you are physically unable to do it. If you're too hot, you're like psychologically inept. <laughs> so like uh, words and your whole sort of identity starts melting. In my case. <laughs> um, this is Eric Meyer on piano and uh, synthesizer. And that's uh, Walker Allen on guitar. 
And that's Willie B. Morris on drums. On the red carpet All the stars are lining up In Trafalgar Square And their eyes are shining And the flashbulbs glare And turning round I see A child actor looking at me He's ten or so in Versace And his eyes are To feed its children is such a symbol of selflessness. I cry, I cry. Now I know why love is all. At 6 a.m. and I was worrying about myself because, um, well, I just, it's, it's weird to have a music career or one that you're trying to have a music career because you are both offering something to people and you are 
actively self-promoting all the time and accepting praise. So it's kind of like this, I don't even know, it's hard for me to even quite talk about. Uh, it's not like I'm getting like so much praise that it's just overwhelming. <laughs> but, uh, but I am like, it does seem very much that I'm like actively seeking it. Uh, but I'm also trying to like share what I've made. Um, and then, so I was worrying about all that. Then we, so I've been up since six and I went to bed at two. That's just side point. Uh, or it's not a point at all. Um, but then we got here, and there are two enormous pictures of me. There's a picture of me on the Boston skyline. <laughs> so all of you um, sustaining members have contributed <laughs> slightly to my ego crisis. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
Cause my baby, she's a real peach Even when the night come crashing down Real peach And the night time rolls away Alright And we're coming back to the demon killing with the love coming out on February 8th. So a lot of these songs are from that. The, uh, the last one we did was not from that. All right, I have a terrible admission. And I've been making this mistake the entire week whenever I tell people about this. And then they're like, oh, I've heard of that. Uh, WGBH? OK. Good. I was going to say WGHB. <laughs> which I think is probably something else, and I don't want to thank them, but I do want to thank WGBH very much for having me in us. I think it would be a real sin if I like lived here and didn't know that. But I live in Vermont. We have VPR. You've heard it. You've heard of it. <laughs> oh yeah. Shelburne? Oh. Yep, I went to school in Shelburne. Where did you go? SCS. Oh, yeah, I, I worked at SCS. I was a recess monitor. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Ah, I recognize you. What? You're 21? 25. 25. All right, I definitely did not have you. <laughs> That's actually an underrated job. Or... I don't know. You're not paid very much, but, and you have to be out in incredibly cold weather because you, you have to go out to recess uh, if it's anywhere above zero. Um, but you get to play football for a living. Like all time quarterback. Surpassing strange to see them on the train Coming of age and looking for what American babies in the wind and the rain Where's the milk? 
song solo. I don't think that they decided whether or not they're going to leave the stage or not. What have you decided? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's going to be about seven minutes. <laughs>
first in part, but then in full. We open our eyes. These two songs are, uh, the, the last song and this next song will be similarly sad. at the House of Blues. <laughs> We're very happy to be touring with Gus We're going to be at the House of Blues. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not scared. <laughs> and I don't think that they are either. Um, I'm, I don't do like audience participation, but sometimes I ask questions. I just ask questions to the audience, and people might know the answer, but they don't want to blurt it out or anything. Uh, can someone explain to us if we are on an Olympic campus, an Olympic, an Olympic game campus? No? OK. It feels like we are. Like, if you go outside, there's like all this stuff that indicates that there are massive tracks, like pools. It's all New Balance. It's a corporate campus? Oh. What does that mean? All of the finance facilities are held here through Okay. And it's all like built by New Balance and sponsored by New Balance. But this is not. Okay. Okay. Good. I'm glad to be in this part. <laughs> Although I guess if I played a New Balance, I might get some New Balance. But I don't want. I don't want them. 
Not really. I like Saucony. <laughs> Saucony doesn't register culturally. That's what I like about it. Or it does, but it only registers in that it doesn't register. Like I, you follow me on that? Uh, my other question is because we went down through the Olympic campus to, uh, to this extremely bougie coffee place and the guy who was very nice was wearing a hat that said, I, in dog years I would be dead. <laughs> Which I feel like, I mean, I don't think of myself as like a skeptic. I'm not like, it's just like, it seems like people probably read that and they think that they understand what it means. But I read it and I thought at first that I did and I laughed and then I thought a little bit more about it and I don't think it works. <laughs> like if they're, I don't know, I don't even think it's math. It's like, okay, he said in, cause I asked him about it and then he said, well in dog years he would be 210. But he, then he would still be the same age that he is. Or are we doing a transplanting of human years into dog years? It's like if he were, so then Eric said, <laughs> That his, that his hat should say, if I were a dog, I'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, would be really weird. <laughs> I should have asked about this before, but this word, this song has the F word in it. Is that all right? Okay.
All right, well, this will be our last song. I don't know, does anyone know what time it is? Oh yeah, I can't read that. <laughs> it's a dog call. <laughs> dog call. <laughs> See, but we all laugh at that, but what do we know what it means? <laughs> time is going extra fast, but it's not. Oh, please. I think, yeah, that's when you say, this guy. <laughs> um, well, Eric and I played duo at New Year's in Burlington, and I made a very uh, NPR-friendly joke, which was that because we had to play over an hour, I was going to do a musical filibuster, and everyone laughed, like, ho, ho. Uh, <laughs> and then I, like, read the filibuster uh, Wikipedia and stuff. So that was pretty good. Um, but... This will be our last song. I'm not going to do anything like that. Um, I'm just going to talk about how I did it once. <laughs> that's a meta filibuster. And that's an extra NPR joke. Thought I was drowning in that bed Couldn't get the moon out of my head So I woke before the break of day I walked along the coast of Galway Just like the sea Now we get it on an installment plan Oh my love It's you and yours And all the baby boys are just in them in wood Teaching them
Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll be back in May, headline, and we'll, we'll need you then. Thank you very much.